hello there everyone. How are you all doing today? I am feeling a little bit nervous. I've been requested to do this video quite a few times by you guys and I'm finally getting around to doing it. I know I'm a little bit late, so it's about that. This is the alphabetical makeup challenge where I basically do each step of my makeup in alphabetical order and I'm real stressed about primer. Like obviously there's a lot of makeup steps that come before P and primer is supposed to go first. So I'm very, 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 very worried. But hopefully we can make it work. We're gonna give it our best shot today. I'm gonna try and make this look good, not bad. I'm not gonna try to exaggerate it. I just wanna look pretty, okay? I, I just need to feel pretty today. So I wrote a list on my phone of each step. So hopefully I don't leave anything out or do it wrong or cheat or anything. I'm gonna do my best, okay? Blush. So I have nothing on my skin right now except my like moisturizer. <laughs> blush okay we're gonna go cream blush because then we can kind of like build on top of that this is gonna look ridiculous Ooh, I've got orgasm by NARS in the blush form I haven't used this in so long I reckon I'll do it this today so we're gonna kind of stack it on because you know foundation if that's gonna come later and I feel like we need to make it kind of bright so that it shows through. Eh. I'm just using my Flawless Finish Sponge to blend this out. I really should get a couple of different sponges because there's going to be pink on this now for later on when I do my foundation, which could be a bit risky. I don't know. I look sunburnt. Or like, I've got a rash. Or like, some girl just slapped me across the face really hard at the club. I mean, it's a beautiful colour. But not when I'm already bright pink as it is naturally. <laughs> we'll do some more. Let's go all out. Okay, next up bronzer. Once again, I think we'll do a liquid situation because once again, we want it to show up under the foundation. I'm so nervous. Okay, we're gonna do do the hula. I actually used this recently um, in my orange tutorial. So I love this stuff, but it's not actually very dark. So I don't even know if we're gonna be able to see it by the time we layer it with other products. I'm just gonna go straight in with my sponge and just apply this everywhere. I would normally bronze my skin, which is kind of like on my cheeks also. So I'm blending it just on the back of my cheek, like over here. I usually like layer bronzer and blush on my cheeks because I just like my face to look really warm. You know what? This bronzer actually looks really pretty just on my natural skin tone. Like if I blended it better and didn't use so much. Like it's real natural because it like, you know, everything peeks through and I just look like fake tanned or something almost. I'm gonna put some just on my chin area, on my nose. I always put heaps of bronzer on my nose like you guys know. And that looks silly. It's so weird. I'm like, oh, I actually put bronzer friggin' everywhere. I also put it on my jaw because we like to try and have a jawbone around here. Just, just a slight one, nothing wrong with that. Well, I'm looking stunning. I mean, stay away boys, don't come too close. I am taken. Next up, we have <laughs> concealer and then contour. <laughs> I wish it was contour then concealer, but hey, I don't make the rules. We're going to use the Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. And I have a really bad fake tan on my wrist, sorry about that. This shade here is in the color Almond and I'm going to conceal under my eyes with this shade and also on my eyelids like I always do. And there's pink on the sponge, fingers crossed. It doesn't come off. I usually try to go quite like straight down my nose and then just out onto my <laughs> What the heck is happening? And then all over that eyelid. Wait, did I add eyebrows? I didn't even add eyebrows to my list. Do I write eyebrows or brows? I mean, we're gonna have to do eyebrows now because I mean, B has already been and gone. I knew I was forgetting something on my list, but hey, it's fun. It is okay. I feel like it's not looking, no, it is. It's looking really bad. And then I usually wear like a little bit down my T-zone. Not like it matters because foundation is too calm. Oh, my, my nose looks real like thin right now. <laughs> like I've just contoured it. And then I'm taking my face shade of concealer as well because I do have some little breakouts on my chin. This shade is natural beige. I'm just going to conceal those as well. And once again, just tapping that out. This is making me realize how much concealer I use because usually like, you know, you're putting it on top of your foundation so like it just kind of blends in you don't realize how much you've got on. But now I'm like packing it on and I've got nothing underneath and I can see how terrible it looks and it's making me question everything in my life. Okay, I'm just spreading it out because like I can see it. <laughs> okay, I look like I have a beard. I like the glow to my skin though, like... Is that just from my moisturizer earlier? Like what is that? The blush is very glowy, like... Ooh, okay. 
I hope you can still see the blush underneath the foundation because it's kind of already settling in and not looking so bright if you know what I mean because it's like sunken into my skin a lot more since I put it on my bare skin. Okay next up we have contour so I'm going to use this. This is the Benefit Hoola um, quickie contour stick, which I've not used too often, so I thought I'd bust it out. Now this is going to be terrifying also, but I'm just applying that everywhere where I'd normally put a little bit of contour powder. So I put it, as you know, like straight on top of my nose, because I have a crooked nose, I feel like it looks the best. Um, a little bit just underneath that bottom lip to make it look peltier. Then we're going to blend it out once again. Hopefully this is like, yeah, this is real easy to blend, thank goodness, so... I'm just gonna tap that out. See, normally if I was using cream contour as well, I'd like go cream contour and then like use a bit of a concealer to carve it out a bit, but I can't do that. This could look very patchy. I'm stressed. I look dirty, like so dirty. And I feel like half of my blush has disappeared and I'm kind of sad. Like I was so scared when I first put it on, but I love it and I want it back. <laughs> now we're gonna friggin' put foundation all over everything. And it's just gonna all disappear, I think. And I'm not happy about it because there was a lot of effort and it's just gonna go to waste. Okay, but first, eyebrows. It's actually a while before we get to do our foundation and powder. Hmm. I look stunning. So, first we have eyebrow insert product here. I wrote down powder A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Fuck. The mascara comes before the powder. I'm going to go in with soft brown pomade gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I hate by itself. And then we're gonna do the powder afterwards because M comes before P for powder or pomade or whatever. Pencil, p -p -p -p. Why is everything P? I'm offended because this is completely wrong to me. And my eyebrows are gonna look super messy. Some people actually do their eyebrows in this order, but every time I do, I hate it, and I get these grouch eyebrows happening. And you know, it's just not really the look I go for on a day-to-day -day basis. So here's the brow mascara. That's what I called it, even though it's like technically called like a gel. Even then, G comes before M, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to go in with my powder. I'm using the Browsings by Benefit and a little eyebrow groomer brush. I'm going to fill in the gaps and I'm gonna to have to be very careful not to go too heavy handed otherwise I am going to look like I belong in the rubbish bin. God I've got this huge like patch right here and I can't even clean it up because I've already done my uh, my concealer. I'm gonna to have to try and do it with my um what's it called? Primer? Eye primer? Ooh eye primer is that next? My god there's something seriously sticky like I think it's like the bronzer or something because I haven't set it with um powder it's like so sticky and my brow products are like <laughs> like that's literally the noise I would imagine it made if you like listened real close. You know what if I actually like didn't have such a massive patch of crap product right there they wouldn't look so bad. I think this um Anastasia brow products like grown on me the more I've used it and like got to know the product and how to use it you know but my brows do still look very hairy and not the best but hey next up we've got eye primer today i'm going to use my smashbox lid primer in the shade light it looks like this and we're going to put that oh, i haven't even ugh. usually i set my concealer with powder before i do my eye primer and i can't do that right now so this is different and also i'm going to just cheat a little bit and put some right here and just try to cover my shit eyebrow mm. i'm just brushing this out with my normal brush that i like to use on my eye primer which is very big but it works the dual petal brush makes a beauty i feel very thick right now <laughs> like not as in like thick curvy but like thick like Cakey. What other makeup challenges do you guys want me to film? I would love to know because I like filming these. They're just very stressful. Okay, next up we have, according to my calculations, eyeshadow because S comes after P. Even though eyeshadow is technically one word and eye primer is technically two words, I don't really know how that works, but I'm just doing eyeshadow because S starts after P. And then we can finally do our foundation, which I'm very happy about. Okay. So, I want to try a new eyeshadow palette because I'm desperate. This is it's so pretty looking. This is Sweet Talk by Colourpop. And these colours literally look like life. And I love these like glittery ones. So, I'm going to start with just a transition shade. I'm going to use Work It, which is the top corner colour. And I'm just going to... Oh, this is so pretty. It's like an orangey tone. I'm going to just work that into my crease. I don't really know what look we're going for today, guys. I'm just, you know... 
smacking it on what's new my gosh it's so windy outside i feel like my roof's about to come off my house can you hear it i don't know if you can now i'm gonna take the shade prima drama which is this like rosy kind of glittery shade it's like pinky and goldy and i don't even know like so many different undertones it's like almost duochrome ish and i'm just going to press that on my eyelid and holy shit that is a vibe i love it so I'm just smashing that on and it's sticking really well because like there's so much stickiness on my eyelid right now. It's so pretty. I feel like this lighting I've got set up right now is just like, I don't even know. It looks so pretty. I'm going to go up to like my like halfway, just past halfway so I can do another color on my outer corner. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. <gasps> Oh, I love it. I'm going to take a dense shadow brush from my outer corner. I'm going to take the shade West Side, which is just like a nice warm brown. And I'm just tapping that on the brush and bringing it into the glitter. And I'm also going to run this just underneath the outer part of my eye too. This is very weird because I have not yet set my concealer. I'm going to take the shade Work It again and just use that with the fluffy blender brush. To blend the edges. Oh, the glitter's kind of going everywhere. I'm gonna take some of that Prima Drama color and just pat that with my finger all over just to kind of blend where I put that outer corner color and to make sure it's nice and opaque. I'm just gonna take my eye definer brush and I'm going to take the shade Catch Me, which is just like a little bro bro bone, brow bone highlight color, just to sit under there and try to make sure my eyebrows don't look so messy. I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade side to side as well, which is like a shimmery color. It's not so glittery. And just put that right underneath my brow bone also. I love this color. So far, the worst looking thing on my face is probably the eyebrows, just cause like they're not as structured as I would like. Like it was just a bit difficult to draw them on. I just feel like they look patchy. They fit, I feel like they look real like crooked and it's just not a good time. Just making sure my eyebrows look, I mean not my eyebrows, my eyeshadow looks as blended as I can get it right now. Okay, this palette is beautiful. There's definitely like glitter fallout, but luckily the next step is foundation, so we can cover that right up. It's weird because we're now going like a lighter skin tone because like this is all like bronzer and stuff. The concealer just looks terrible so i need to like kind of match everything to my chest now so i don't know how this is gonna look i think i might use this which is like a nice lighter coverage kind of foundation hello happy by benefit because i don't really need a lot of coverage like if you look at my skin like where do i need full coverage and it's just gonna cover everything i've done so hopefully this works out so i'm just gonna start by checking this color against my neck this is shade two and i feel like by the time i put it on top of my darker face like with the contour and bronzer it's just gonna look good because this is probably normally like a shade too light but usually you bring up the color with your um bronzer and everything so i kind of need to start off well like end lighter rather than start off lighter it's weird anyway okay so this is scary we're just gonna tap that all over except i'm not putting it over top of my eyeshadow i don't care who you are you're not making me do that it's not too bad i've just like lost my contour and my chin looks really patchy I almost should have used like a way darker contour, but oh well. This reminds me of how everyone used to do their contouring back in like 2010 or something. When like contouring was like, you know, popping up on YouTube and people would do cream contour and then foundation on top. I remember doing it like that. Oh, we have moved on in life. I love the finish of this foundation and I'm actually not hating the way it's making my skin look like on top of everything else. It's just that I've lost a lot of the definition and color um, of the blush and stuff and the contour, but look, I'm still getting a bit of forehead bronzer. It looks pretty. I don't hate it at all. And I feel like it's ended up matching like very well, like to my chest. I'm pretty stoked. The only thing I'm worried about is primer later on, <laughs> which is probably gonna ruin everything I just did. Next up we have highlight. And since we haven't done our powder yet, which I'm dying to do because I feel like my face is about to drip off like it's so wet feeling um we've got highlighter so i think i'll do a cream once again so that by the time we put on our powder on top hopefully we'll still get some shine so i'm going to use this color first this is glow girl by la girl i'm using it on my sponge and i'm just going to tap this this is the first color i'm going to use i'm going to use a couple i'm just tapping this on my cheekbones this is such a pretty like i don't even know like a bronzyish pinkyish color and it matches my eye makeup, which I'm really happy about. This is like a real pretty color for darker skin tones too, I reckon. On me, it's very natural. It just kind of gives me like a like a dewier finish, which is very hard to tell right now because I do have like foundation everywhere and it's not set. And then I'm gonna follow up with my Fasali Jelly Bean, which is a little bit more like light, I guess. Ooh, look at 
looks like cat's view. I'm gonna use my sponge again and this is gonna give me the light kind of factor to my highlighter. It's a very pretty color and it's very blinding so I'm hoping that you'll be able to see it underneath everything else once I set it. My god there's so much like cream on my cheeks that even this is like making my foundation separate a little bit. This is probably it looks like cakey. Like this is where I'm starting to get cakey. Like can you see what I mean? Like up close like all the products just like lifting. <laughs> it looks so yuck. It's just not the same effect as a powder highlighter on a powdered skin. It would look much less cakey but here we are. This is our life now. So next up is lip pencil. I've got Sienna by Jouer right here. This is like weird because like I've got foundation on my lips and it's like wet and usually I put my lip pencil on when like there's no wetness, <laughs> wetness to my mouth. It feels slimy. I feel like it's all just gonna like move. Oh my god. I just like wiped off all of the layers. Ah that doesn't normally happen. Oh god. I don't know why but it's way harder to like overlie my lips when I don't have powder on. Like it looks worse than normal and I I just don't get it. And then after lip liner comes lipstick. I'm going to use Summit by It's So Beauty which is a matte liquid lipstick. I feel like the colour will look real nice with the eye makeup. My skin looks crusty. Okay, I feel like my lips look good. So next up after lip stick we have a liquid eyeliner lm okay thank god liquid eyeliner mascara and then we've got p which is pencil eyeliner wait what about lashes oh, lashes are supposed to come before lipstick how did i forget to put that on my list either way it's okay lashes before liner l a versus a lie i'm in kindergarten right now what is going on so this is going to be bad because i usually do eyeliner before my eyelashes because it's just way easier <laughs> also i usually put on mascara before i do my eyelashes especially when i'm using such dramatic ones like i am today all right eyelash number one going in god these are gonna look crazy funky right now okay this is really weird it's like real hard to like try and get them real close to my lash line too because like it's, there's nothing to like rest my lashes on if you know what I mean like normally my eyelashes are real stiff because I've got mascara on so they just sit on top whereas uh, it's like they're like not sitting right and then that one didn't stick to my own corner properly which is going to be a problem I wish I just didn't have to do liquid eyeliner but next is liquid eyeliner. I'm going to try and use the Stila Stay All Day liquid eyeliner. How on earth? Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. I'm just trying to use the very tip of the brush to try and get a very thin line. I can't even see past my eyelashes because they're so thick as well. I'm like, I can't see what I'm drawing. I'm not gonna bitch out. Oh god, I'm gonna try and do a wing. Oh god, that I literally cannot see and half of my foundation is coming off on my hand right now. <sighs> that is so, so ugly, <laughs> that wing. I can't actually see what's happened. Oh my god, that liner is way thicker than the other eye. I have to kind of pull my eyelid so I can see past the lash. There is no chance in hell that my makeup, my eyeliner makeup, eyeliner, is going to match on both sides. There is just not a chance. Honestly, if anyone comes at me today for my eyeliner, they can just shove it up their butt because that's how I feel. Mascara, that's fine. Um, although I would have rather have put my mascara on before these types of falsies, like just because it preserves the falsies longer. Like when you're using such dramatic pairs of lashes, you can just pop them on after your mascara and it's easy. Um, doing it this way just means I'm gonna be putting mascara on the falsies. So I have to just give them a very, very, very thorough clean tonight so I can keep reusing them. I'm starting to look very old. Like my foundation, like because of where I've put my hand and like peeled it off. It's like all patchy. <laughs> God, I'm into my under eye powder and it's going to get all stuck in my mascara. Pencil eyeliner is next. That's absolutely fine by me. I'm just going to use a nude color in my waterline just to try and conceal some of that pink powder nest. Okay, good. But then primer comes afterwards. <laughs> powder, powder, powder. Let's do some Max Studio Fix Powder, just my go-to. It is quite full coverage, so it's probably going to cover all of my highlighter and bronzer and stuff. Oh, you can kind of see my blush a little bit peeking through. Not very much though. That highlighter looks so shit, man. I'm not stoked about that. I've got foundation sinking into this wrinkle, so I'm just gonna tap over top of it a million times. Ooh, the highlighter is the worst part. Honestly, I'm gonna zoom in soon so you can see it's so bad. I look very dusty and dry right now, so at least we've got setting spray lighter. Look at this highlighter though. Can you see how like caked on and hideous that looks? Not stoked. Next is primer. This is the worst part. I'm gonna take one of my favorite primers, Meteorite's Base by Golan. It's a very glowy primer. And I'm gonna take two pumps, because I'm not bitching out. And I'm gonna run that all the way through my hands. And I'm going to pat it. Oh god, that's so sticky. Oh god. It smells so good though. 
I'm just hoping this will kind of like, oh god, I've got like powder transferring off my fingers right now. I look dry and cakey. It gave me a glow, but it also removed part of my powder and I've got like fingerprints on my face now. <laughs> oh, well that's the hardest part done. Now we've got setting spray and then under eye powders. So for my setting spray, I'm going to use the Super Tempting Face Fixer BTS VT. Hopefully this will, yum. Hopefully this will help with the cakey situation. I like sprayed so much, my face is almost wet now. And then under my eyes, I'm going in with a little bit of, oh, there's an eyelash stuck to this. Relatable. I'm gonna go in with some of this. I'm going to use it with a small face brush so that it's quite a, a precise application. So I'm just going to, oh God, I'm gonna get it all over my lashes. I'm just trying not to get all my lashes. Under eye powder, that comes last, right? You. I'm going to try and buff it on top of the highlighter a little bit just to even it up. This gives a little bit of coverage and brightening. So I'm just doing my best with what I can. I also usually put a little tiny bit, but it's usually at the beginning of my routine, like not after bronzer and stuff, but I do a little bit down my nose just to do a little bit of extra coverage, like where I have my little freckles and then under the other eye. Okay, so here is the finished look. Cakey AF. I look like, you know, sometimes when you wear your foundation for like 14 hours and you look at yourself before you wash off your makeup at the end of the night, after you've been like drinking and dancing and you just look a bit effed up, like that's how I look right now. But my eye makeup's cute, except the eyeliner and the eyebrows. Like, I mean, I did my best, okay guys? I feel like from far away it doesn't look too bad, it's just when you get up close and personal, you get a little bit sketched out. I love these lashes. At least that kind of pulled the look together, I guess. Like it kind of hid the bad eyeliner. And I feel like the setting spray really helped because it's quite glowy. Um, but I did lose like most of my definition, like my contour and stuff. And I feel like I lost a lot of coverage when I pat over my face with the primer. Like it kind of peeled off some of the powder and peeled off some of the foundation. Because obviously you're not supposed to really do that. I thought about cheating and just doing it on my cheekbones or something, but you know, no cheating here, I think. Hopefully I didn't cheat, hopefully I didn't F this up. But yeah, if you think I did a good job, please give me a thumbs up. Just give me some moral support. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and notify to be notified when I upload new videos two or three times every single week. And comment below with other stuff you wanna see because I'm currently pre-filming for you guys and I would just love to put out content that you guys really wanna see, obviously. I've got lots of fun stuff planned, but I always wanna know what you guys wanna see as well, just in case you know, something slid past my mind. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>